So uh, in different aspects of life, we always talk about women. And whenever there is a male and a female candidate for something, the first thing that comes to anybody's mind, especially the men, is, oh, if she's pretty, she'll get pretty privileges. So yeah. have you ever experienced such a situation? Maybe you went for a job or for an audition or for something, an interview, and then uh, there was a male contender, and because they felt you were pretty, they gave you all they gave you because you were fit for the job. Oh, well, thank you for calling me pretty. <laughs> you know you are. <laughs> but, um, but, um, well, uh, maybe not directly from, like, a, an audition, mm. but I would say from, like, jobs that I've had. I think the first job when I moved to Nigeria, the first ever job I had, um, people really felt that, oh, because I look this way and sound a certain way, um, they thought that I was, like in a relationship with the boss. Mm. And it's oh, because, wow. obviously, they're like, oh, well, she looks good. She looks like someone that got this job because of her looks and the way she speaks. And that really was painful because it was like, no, can you not look beyond me being a woman? And, you know, they, you know, they think that are women, uh, they have this privilege. Mm. Not only just being pretty, but, you know, you can talk to men, you know, you can, get, you can um, persuade men with your being your aura and all that and it's like no how about i'm just intelligent i'm good at my craft i'm talented why don't you see that before you see these other things like me just being attractive or whatever i don't know it's um it's very it's very sad because women even do it to each other a lot mm. of the things that i face was was from other women actually mm. um i actually just put something on my story that <laughs> i know some people are gonna be like oh wow but it's it's true a lot of women we judge each other. So if you see a girl that's doing business, for example, people think, oh, she's a runs girl, or a man yeah. gave her the money. Okay, but if a man gave her the money, there's so many women that and people give money to, and they don't do anything with it. So do, at least she has some type of sense, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so many things that women that are divorced, they don't deserve second love, they're damaged goods, you know? That's not true. Why? Why? Because she's a divorcee, you, now you think she's problematic, you know? Mm. Um, don't bring your, your friends around, your single friends around. Yeah. Marry, your, marry, you know, marry, marry, marry. Yeah, and, yeah. It's, and it's not only because of that husband snatching thing, it's because people also think that women that are single are beneath them. That's one thing. The yeah. discrimination yeah, right Yeah, there. they think they're not as important as them because, you know, I've, I've been, I'm a token. I've been given a ring. Somebody chose me they haven't chosen you that's how a lot of um, women that are married view single ladies you had to work with Kemi Adetiba ah. on set oh my oh no but that was amazing that's like my big sister so, yeah. it, so that means it's not every time no, like that. No. Okay, because people always say, oh, when you see, you can see um, a group of women that have been friends for a long time yeah. and that type of energy. Like, but. No, yeah, you, no, mm, no. Okay. I have good vibes. Oh my gosh, Kemi is like my. She's like, it was like my second mentor. She will call me. She'll be like, I can see what you're doing. It's really well, you know? But just at this thing, you don't know. No, she's so supportive. Ooh, and lovely. Yeah, you know, we have like um, like big sisters. We even have mummies like um, mm -hmm. Mami Shola Ooh. Shobwale, is like yeah. my mummy. Yeah, and she's female. So, there's a lot of women uh, more mature and younger and age mates that are um, helpful and they help you along your journey. It's not all the time that women are dragging each other down and not being supportive. <laughs> okay, so now that we're talking about marriage, being a father and a mother, mm. uh, everyone prays for a great support system. Mm -hmm. And we've seen you and your husband every once in a while. <laughs> the gifts? On social media <laughs> gifts? I was getting there. So yeah. we saw the gifts you got. <laughs> Oh and then we saw God. the gift, you got him. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. okay, these people are having a whole lot of fun. So yeah. uh, share your experience with marriage. Because so many young ladies out there are like, oh, I want to be a career woman and a married woman. How do I balance all of this? And all is money for me, but my money, money is for me. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, um, it's crazy because... I, do you know what it is? From the beginning, I already knew that my husband was a supportive husband. Um, that's one quality that I was sure of, that, okay, he really supports my career. This is when we were still dating. So I already knew that, okay, the kind of life that I want to have, you know, I want to be able to travel. I want to continue my career. This man is in support of th this dream, right? So it's very important to know the type of partner you are with. Because some men are like, oh no, you know, I really don't want that. I really want a wife that's gonna be home 24 seven. That's okay, but you need to know, is that man for you? Because don't start crying 10 years down the line when you're trying to be like a superstar. <laughs> and he's like, no, you need to stay at home. You know, don't yeah. now start getting it twisted. It's just like, yeah, he already told you what it was from the jump. But um, yeah, it's been great. Um, we've had, you know, our fair share, but it's been great, you know, because 
we are honest with each other. We're very honest um, with our feelings and um, what our expectations as well. Um, but my advice to <laughs> my advice to women mm -hmm. that want to get married, um, marriage is a beautiful thing. Love is a very beautiful thing. But take your time. Uh, don't don't feel pressured into mm -hmm. it because it's supposed mm -hmm. to be lifetime. It's not really supposed to be. It's not supposed to end in divorce. Mm -hmm. You know. So really, don't be pressured by your parents because they're not going to live with you of and course. this other human. You know. And when you want to just, you, they're not going to be there. So you can't report back to them. So, yeah, <laughs> really take your time. And know what you want for yourself first yes. before you get married. Yeah. I always say, and this is from wise words of Beyonce. Ooh. Come on now. Queen Bay. Make sure you have your life before you become his wife. Okay. Yes, yes. Queen. Yes. Yes.